Muhammad Ali Jinnah, born December 25, 1876, Karachi, India. Was an Indian Muslim politician who was the founder and first Governor General of Pakistan. Jinnah was the eldest of seven children of Jinnah Bhai Punja and his wife Mithibai. His family was a member of the Koja caste Hindus who had converted to Islam centuries earlier and who were followers of the Aga Khan. There is some question about Jinnah's date of birth, although he maintained that it was December 25, 1876. After being taught at home, Jinnah was sent in 1887 to the Sindh Madrasat al-Islam in Karachi. Later he attended the Christian Missionary Society High School where at the age of 16, he passed the matriculation examination of the University of Bombay. On the advice of an English friend, his father decided to send him to England to acquire business experience. Jinnah, however, had made up his mind to become a barrister. In keeping with the custom of the time, his parents arranged for an early marriage for him before he left for England. In London he joined Lincoln's Inn, one of the legal societies that prepared students for the bar. In 1895, at the age of 19, he was called to the bar. While in London Jinnah suffered two severe bereavements, the deaths of his wife and his mother. Nevertheless, he completed his formal studies and also made a study of the British political system, frequently visiting the House of Commons. When Jinnah returned to Karachi in 1896, he found that his father's business had dot suffered losses and that he now had to depend on himself. He decided to start his legal practice in Bombay but it took him years of work to establish himself as a lawyer. It was nearly 10 years later that he turned actively toward politics. A man without hobbies, he divided his interest between law and politics. Nor was he a religious zealot, he was a Muslim in a broad sense and had little to do with sects. His interest in women was also limited to Rathanbai, the daughter of Sir Dinshaw Petty, a Bombay Parsi millionaire, whom he married in 1918 over tremendous opposition from her parents and others. The couple had one daughter, Dina, but the marriage proved an unhappy one, and Jinnah and Rati soon separated. It was his sister Fatima who gave him solace and company. Upon his return to India, he enrolled at the Bombay High Court and took an interest in national politics, which eventually replaced his legal practice. Jinnah rose to prominence in the Indian National Congress in the first two decades of the 20th century. In these early years of his political career, Jinnah advocated Hindu-Muslim unity, helping to shape the 1916 Lucknow Pact between the Congress and the All India Muslim League, in which Jinnah had also become prominent. Jinnah became a key leader in the All India Home Rule League, and proposed a 14-point constitutional reform plan to safeguard the political rights of Muslims in the Indian subcontinent. By 1940, Jinnah had come to believe that the Muslims of the subcontinent should have their own state to avoid the possible marginalized status they may might be reduced to in an independent Hindu-Muslim state. In that year, the Muslim League, led by Jinnah, passed the Lahore Resolution, demanding a separate nation for Indian Muslims. During the Second World War, the League gained strength while leaders of the Congress were imprisoned, and in the provincial elections held shortly after the war, it won most of the seats reserved for Muslims. First Governor General of Pakistan, Jinnah worked to establish the new nation's government and policies, and to aid the millions of Muslim migrants who had emigrated from neighboring India to Pakistan after the two states' independence, personally supervising the establishment of refugee camps. Jinnah died at age 71 in September 1948, just over a year after Pakistan gained independence from the United Kingdom. He left a deep and respected legacy in Pakistan. Several universities and public buildings in Pakistan bear Jinnah's name. He is revered in Pakistan as the Quaid-e-Azam, great leader, and Baba-e-Qaum, 